Hello and welcome to another For the Love of Learning video. My name is Miss D and today I'm going to teach you how to find factors. So what is a factor? Factors are whole numbers that when multiplied together give you another number. So for example, 2 times 3 equals 6, so 2 and 3 are factors of 6, or 5 times 2 equal 10. So 5 and 2 are factors of 10. If you're asked to find factors of a number, you're being asked to think of numbers that when multiplied together, give you that original number. When you do multiplication, you're given two numbers to multiply and you have to find the answer. When you're factoring a number, or finding the factors of a number, you're given one number and you have to find the numbers that multiply together to give you your original number. I like to think of it as will that number go into your original number and how many times and without a remainder. For example, you could be given eight. Which numbers go into eight perfectly? Remember, no remainders allowed. Well, two does and it fits in four times. Or in other words, when you multiply two and four together, you get eight. So two and four are factors of eight. I know this is correct because 8 is in the 2 times table and the 4 times table. This means that 8 is divisible by 2 and 4. So you might have noticed that factors come in pairs, so it makes sense to list them in pairs. No, not the fruit, I just mean two at a time. The easiest way of doing this is using 1, 2, 3. I'll show you what I mean. Say hello to the factor bug. Here's our easy method. Let's say that we want to find all the factors of 20. One, two, three. We're gonna start with one. So every single number is always divisible by one and itself. So in this case, one and 20. So let's put them on our factor bug. And we're gonna put them right at the top because they're our first ones. Now we're gonna look at two. Is two a factor of 20? Or in other words, is 20 in the two times table? Yes, it is. Two times 10 equals 20. So we're gonna put them on next on our factor bug. Now we'll move on to three. Is three a factor of 20? Or in other words, is 20 in the three times table? No, it's not. If we count in threes, we won't reach 20. So we're gonna cross that one off. We're then gonna move on to four. Is four a factor of 20? Or in other words, is 20 in the four times table? Yes, it is. 4 times 5 equals 20. So 4 and 5 are factors of 20. Now, because 4 and 5 are consecutive numbers, we know that there are no more factors because we've met in the middle. Now we can see we've got all our pairs of factors. 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. Right, another example using our one, two, three method. I'm gonna write one, two, three at the top of my board to help me cross off the numbers that I've done. However, this time I'm actually gonna go a little bit further than three because most numbers have factors bigger than three. Let's take 15 as our next example. So we're gonna put that in our factor bug and then we're trying to find all of the factor pairs. So we'll start with one and itself because like every number, one in itself is always the first factor pair. Okay, now let's look at two. Is two a factor of 15? No, it's not because 15 is an odd number so it can't be divisible by two. So we'll move on to three. Is 15 in the three times table? Yes, it is. Three times five equals 15. So we could put three and five as our next factor pair. If I look at my list of numbers, like a number line, I'm approaching from both ends. As I ticked off five from this end, that means we can cross off all the numbers bigger than five. So that leaves us with four. Now we know four can't be a factor because four multiplied by itself is bigger than 15. Okay, your turn. I'm gonna give you the number 12. Can you draw your own factor bug to find all the factor pairs for 12? Pause the video now. Answer's coming in three, two, one. So of course you've got one and 12, you've then got two and six and three and four. Let's 
Let's look at another example together, 16. So using our one, two, three method, let's get started. Well, we've got one and 16. We've got two and eight. Three is not a factor of 16 because 16 is not in the three times table, but four is. It's four multiplied by four gives you 16. We can now cross off any number bigger than four that we haven't already used because as we multiply four by four to get 16, it is like we've approached a number four from both ends of our number line. So when a number is multiplied by itself, all you have to do is put that number in once. You don't need to put it in twice. So you end up with a bit of a wonky bug, but it's kind of cute, so it's fine. Right, your turn again. Here you've got 14 and 24, and I want you to find all of the factor pairs for both of these numbers. But this time I'm not gonna tell you how many there are. Pause the video now. Answers coming in three, two, one. Thank you so much for joining me today for another For the Love of Learning video. Please like and subscribe for more maths related content. Bye for now.